Welcome to the ISS Education Green Fingers Growathon, where we're going to challenge you to grow your own lunch. We'll give you all the kit, the seed, and I want to see all those photos, hear all those reports, and you can tell us how great that fresh food tastes. Well, I'm ready to get started now, but there's somebody missing. I need my companion, little Chris, and here he is. Morning, little Chris. Morning. So, what are we up to today then? Well, this year, little Chris, we've got a big challenge. Because my friend Graham, head chef down at ISS Education, has challenged us to grow the ingredients for a menu. And for that, we need a propagator. And all the schools will get one of these as part of their kit. That sounds like fun. Just one question. What's a propagator? That's a very good question, little Chris. A propagator is a special covered container that is used for germinating and growing seedlings. So what seeds are we going to be planting today? Well, Graham wants us to grow tomato, chives, lettuce, courgette and mm. runner beans. Sounds delicious. OK, Big Chris, what do we need to do? Well, we'll take our propagator. The first thing we need to do, little Chris, is obviously put in our compost. And you can see this is a lovely dark Oi. brown. And it's very airy and light, so the air and the water can pass through properly. And that's just what seedlings like. And I'm going to go three types of plant in here to start off. The tomato, the courgette and the runner bean. This is a good chance also for me to take out any lumps and bumps or stones that are in the way that might inhibit the seedling. Give it a tap, 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 give it a turn. Give it a tap, give it a turn. Tap, tap, tap. And there's my propagator ready to go. That looks awesome. OK, first off, I'm going to sow some courgette, little Chris. Just to open the packet, and the thing to remember, little Chris, is you put your hand, your left hand out like this, like a cup. And then the seeds, and I'm ready to sow. Now, I need a special tool, I need my dibber. Every good gardener should have a dibber. If you can't, you can make one of these if you want, quite easily, or just use a pencil. Make a little hole like that. And I'm literally going to take my courgette seed and pop it in like so. And then, cover it over. And with my finger, just give it a little firm like that. OK, so we're nearly there, little Chris. I've got more to go, pop that in, give it a firm. Last one, now we need to do, it's a very important job. That's right, need to give it a label. Got some labels here. And what you do is you write the name of the plant and the date, and you literally just pop it in the end there like that. And that's the cause, yeah, it's done. Woohoo! OK, little Chris, coming to the end of a run of beans. Propagator's filling up now. Like that, a little bit of. Got the beans like that. That's that row done. So that's the lettuce, the courgette, and the beans done. Pop in my label like that, so. And then to fill our propagator up, I've just got a few tomatoes to do. Firm it, last one. Cover that over, firm it. There you go, pop in my label. And there. Little Chris is a propagator with four lovely ingredients in it. Okay, so that's the propagator four. I'm just going to pop the lid on that for a minute and we'll come back to that to tell you how to look after it. And then we're going to just sow one more plant, the chives. Now, when you take on the Green Fingers Growathon, you'll also get pots with your school kit. And for this, I'm going to need a little bit of soil. The reason we're doing this differently is that the chives can be sown in much greater numbers. So this is called broadcast sowing, little Chris. You see, little Chris, there's a little ridge in the pot here, and that's where my marker is. I'll take my chives. And I'm cupping my hand again. You know the routine, little Chris? I'm going to pour my seed into the cup of my hand. And now this time, we're going to do a thing, little Chris, called snaking the seed. And that means is I'm going to start down here in the corner and I'm going to go up and I'm going to come back down. And what I need to do is get the little pot again and literally just firm them down so they're touching the soil. And I need a little bit of soil to go over the top. And go over the top, pull out any lumps you see. And we go like this. Tap, another little firm. It's time to write the label. So name of the plant and date. 
That can go in now. That hasn't got a propagator, has it? All those seeds in there, lovely and comfortable. We need a little, little propagator for that. So I've got a little trick for you here, little Chris. Need a plastic bag, an elastic band. And we're just going to pop that over the top of the pot. We'll put the lucky band round it. And then what I'll do is I'll little snip the edges off with a pair of scissors so the air can get in. And there you have our five ingredients, Graham's ingredients, for the menu, all sewn and ready to go. I've got a little tip for you here. If you've got a lot of seedlings and they're very crowded together, you can do a thing called pricking out. So I'm going to get my dibber and always only touch a seedling by its leaves, never by the stem or the roots. And you can see, I'll hold this up for you, stem, roots, and I've just got it by the leaves. I'm now going to use my dibber to create a little hole and I'm going to pop it into this pot all of its own. Give that a tap and you can see my one seedling has got loads of space to grow away on its own. Well, there you go, little Chris. All the ingredients for Graham's menu are sewn. All we need to do now is two important jobs. Give them a drink and put them in a windowsill where they get a nice, nice lot of light. Now, what I need is someone reliable, trustworthy, handsome, and with green fingers to look after this slot. Do you mean me? Who else, little Chris? Who else could it be? Of course, and I'll be back in a few months to check out how you're getting on. And just remember, little Chris, when the plants get bigger and they're in the propagator, when it's not too cold, you can plant them out into the soil. I'll be back again in a couple of months to see how you're getting on.